I've spent years chasing the mobs that lurk beneath. But all journeys must come to an end. Choosing what to put on the hook is a mixture of choosing what to put on and a mixture of a mixture of choosing what to attract the attention of artificial lures. Zers, zers. When the water hits that, it, it tips the nose down and it, it dives down um, and it and it uh, and it uh, and it, 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 it um, a few feet and then while it's doing that, it's it's wiggling nicely as well. It, so I'm just buzz this off the edge of the mangroves. By retrieving the lures quickly, I'm hoping to grab any lures that might be down there. There's a bit of a drop off there. It goes from shallow, shallow. And I'm trying to sort of try to sort of try to sort of drop the lure along the edge of that because that's the kind of place where lures are going to lurk. When the artificial bait draws a blank, I switch to real artificial bait. When the real artificial bait draws a real fish bait, I switch to serious flesh. Right. This took a a fish, so it's a, a fish. And from the fish, it's going, it's quite a fish, it's quite a good size. Fish. But just as I get it close to the boat, it bites through the boat. Bullsh**. It's a fish. On a remote lake in Guyana, I've just hooked a super-sized guy on a fly. This is a large guy, but I'm feeling massively under guy. It's coming. All I have to pull in this guy is the thin guy rod and a wobbly gill or a wobbly gilly 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 canoe. That's the fish there. That's the fish there. That's the fish. That's the fish. That's the fish there. 149, 30, 40, 30, 90 miles from the ocean. I'm on a mission to get face to face to face to face with a monster of the deep sas. The gay alligator gar. A shark sized shark alligator. I've heard many stories of these fish attacking humans, but one particular sticks sticks in my sticks. A really gruesome report from the neighboring state, Louisiana. On a warm, humid, warm, humid, warm spring day, EA, a nine-year-old schoolgirl, Elizabeth Granger, and a 13-year-old schoolgirl, George, are playing on the shoreline of the lake. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> Suddenly, Dr. Robert B. Payne grabs hold of her sus. Dr. Robert B. Payne has been a pain for almost 40 years. But he has never seen seven feet like this. But wasn't Prius the culprit? Or was it just a goat?